All right, so today's RV upgrade, we're going with the Oxygenic Body Spa. It says right here, say so long to wimpy RV showers. Let's see if that's true or not. Actually, if this works out well, Cheryl wants to get one for the house. And what you're looking at here is everything that comes in the box. You have the shower head, you have the cutoff valve, you have the wall mount, and I believe there's 3M tape here to put it up with. We haven't decided what we're doing with that yet. And the hose itself. Now, before we do anything, we're gonna do a test with the old one and then compare it when we put this one in. Okay, so this is only hand tight. A little bit of water. Let that drain out. Now, the new one did come with two washers, one for the top here and then one for the other side. Now, what's interesting is this looks like it's metal, but it's really plastic with, well, I'm not even sure what's on the inside, but I'm doubting that's real metal. But that's okay, this one's plastic too. <laughs> I put the washer in and this just screws on and it'll go just hand tight. Now on the other end, sticking the washer in, the cutoff valve, and screw that right in here, get that nice and hand tight. Now the cutoff valve itself already has a washer in it, so we're just going to take the shower head, Screw it right onto it. See how this works. I'm getting wet. <laughs> yeah, that's feel a little bit stronger. So as you can see with the red towel as a backdrop, that the stock shower head is seriously lacking in the pressure department. It also looks like it's probably flowing more water. So let's do the water consumption test next. For the water consumption test, we took this plastic container and we filled it for 20 seconds using each of the shower heads. When we finished with the stock shower head, we did mark it. You can see the black line in the frame on the right. And we're going to see how the oxygenic does. It did save water. <laughs> Zoom in on that. That was only a 20 second shower. So if you're taking a 15 minute shower, that would be a significant difference. Especially if you're boondocking, this will be a lot better than the one we had in here. Now we just need to take a shower and see how it works with the hot water heater. No, now we have to put the wall mount on. Oh, darn it. All right, so that's the old shower mount. We're gonna take those two screws out and see if we can use at least one of them for the new shower mount. All right, so what we did is we used the top hole from the old one. Now what I'm gonna do, this is only temporary. There's two screws on this. The other one is behind this. You just unscrew the ball here. Take it off and there's another hole right there. So I'm just gonna drill the hole now and then we'll screw the screw in, back everything out, put a bead of silicone on it on the underside, put it up, mount it, and then seal it on the outside. All right, so we're marking it with a Sharpie. I'm gonna take it off, drill the hole. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill the holes first with some silicone. Just to be on the safe side. Especially the hole we're not using. Mm -hmm. Alright. So I was running a bead around it. This is probably overkill, but that's what we do. That's what we do. <laughs> Using out the sides kind of nice. I'll make it pretty after. Wow, look at that. That perfect bead coming all the way around. Almost too much. That's oh, all right. I'll go in there and fix that. Cool. All right. The install is complete. Looks pretty good. What do you think, babe? Looks good. By the way, this valve is called the Smart Pause Valve. What it will do is it will eliminate all of the water when you push it, except for a trickle. What that does is it saves you water while you're soaping up and helps to maintain the temperature consistency of the water. And honey. Yes? You finally get to take your shower. Yay! <laughs> all right, so we're both gonna take a shower and then we will let you know what we think about it. All right, so we finally got to take our showers with the new shower head. We had to wait for silicone to dry, and then, of course, there's that necessary evil called work that keeps getting in the way of our fun. But uh, I liked it. There was plenty of power on it. Yeah, uh -huh. there was plenty of pressure. All the conditioner came out of my hair. 
It was really good. Now, how was it on the other one, getting the conditioner out of your hair? Does it come out easy? I just, I saw reviews that said people with long hair seem to it like this. It probably took a little bit longer, but it was good. So, but what we did notice when we were making the video, when we did the comparison, the shower head that came with this looked like it really was flowing a lot more water than the new one was. Mm -hmm. um, which would explain why we couldn't understand why we were filling the gray tank so quickly, because we do shut it off to lather up. But it just seemed to really be filling it quickly. So we have another outing in a couple of weeks. So we're going to put it through the ringer and really, really see if, if it makes that big of a difference. Yep. So we I'm will. pretty sure that it does. Yes. Now, do we recommend it? I do. I do. If you're interested in these, ours was the brush nickel. It also comes in chrome. It also comes in white. White being the cheapest. We will put the links to all three of them. Down below. Underneath us. <laughs> that box down there. <laughs> so until our next RV upgrade the end